Hey guys, happy Monday. Today we're going to kick it old school. I got some drawings to work on. In the meantime, Man Cubs is going to keep you guys entertained with some oxy fuel welding on square groove butt joints. Have fun. Heck yeah! Hey guys, today we're going to be using an uh, oxy fuel torch, doing a little gas welding right here, open root, square butt, on carbon steel. So I already cleaned the mill scale, mill scale off right here, guys. You see it? I did it on both sides. Just little coupons we cut out on the queaky uh, plasma table. We had scrap laying around. So I'm gonna bring this up to here. I'm gonna use an eighth inch filler rod. I like my, my gap eighth inch. So I'm gonna set this butt right in here. Set that just like that. All this is is a uh, eighth inch filler wire I took off of like ER70S-6. Just clipped half of it and just bent it. Then uh, I'm gonna get a little weight right here. So when I'm tacking, this won't push back. So I'm gonna make sure these plates are even up here. I pull this filler wire out. That moved a little bit. And I want to make sure I'm maintaining this eighth inch because if you don't maintain that eighth inch, your gap's going to close up and you won't get penetration. You'll get basically lack of fusion on the, on the brute side. So I'm going to light this torch up. We're going to get our gear on and I'm ready to basically put two tacks right here. Quarter inch, uh, quarter inch of three eighths on one side and I keyhole at the end and I'm going to flip it around and, uh, quarter, and basically same thing, quarter inch of three eighths. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, I'm using a number three tip right here. I got this lit. I only opened the acetylene. <clears throat> the reason you could tell I just opened the acetylene is you see the smoke coming out right here. So we want to slowly open the oxygen. Before we do that, we got to put these number four lens, number four shades on. So we're going to put them on. The reason we got to wear these is because we can't see that neutral flame uh, properly because it's so bright. So we're going to open the oxygen very slowly. It gets, it's very sensitive. So you're going to bring this back. See how it's coming back? Coming back, it's got a long feather right now. And see that cone is shaping out. So that's a little bit too much heat for me. I'm gonna bring it back to like 3 16 to a quarter inch. Then I'm gonna close my oxygen a little bit. About right there, that's how I like mine, about 3 16 to a quarter inch. So right there, that's what I like. I tack a little warm, because I want my edges to melt in good and melt that edge of that plate. So we're ready to weld here. I'm gonna put two tacks, go to quarter inch, quarter inch to 3 8 on one side. When I stop, I'm gonna leave a keyhole there. Then I'm gonna flip the plate around and do the same thing, quarter inch, quarter inch to three eighths keyhole. I'm gonna make sure I'm comfortable. I'm gonna hold this torch at 90 this way and I'm gonna go about 35 to 40. <clears throat> so I'm gonna sit here. I want about this cone eighth inch to uh, eighth inch away from the base metal here. So I'm gonna come over here, heat this. You'll start seeing these plates melt. All right, see how it's melting right there? Add that filler wire in. It's gonna take a little while to heat it up. If it gets too hot, just pull away or turn your heat down. You only got two options here. So I'm gonna increase my angle. Try to keep your tip right at the center. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, just. All right, guys, you noticed there was some popping there. It can be two things. <clears throat> I already checked my settings, that's one. Number two is dirty tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the torch tip cleaners and go ahead and clean all the debris out. I got this tacked right here. I'm gonna come over here. I usually flip this around. I like running my, I like running, oops, I'm flip around. I like running into a keyhole when I'm stopping. So I'm not eighth inch right here. I wanna open it up to eighth inch. So I'm gonna grab this wedge and I'm gonna beat it open a little bit where it's eighth inch. Because I want to maintain that eighth inch. If I don't maintain that eighth inch, it's going to close up on me. And I won't get no penetration. Take a little bit, be it closed. You have, if you're consistent, you're going to have good consistent weld. If you're not consistent, your weld is going to be ugly and not have penetration. It's going to look bad. So go ahead, grab this torch, I'll light up, and we're going to go ahead and tack this quarter inch, three eighths tack. So I'm going to turn this acetylene on like this. Turn the oxygen back on. We're gonna get a neutral flame again. I usually have an eighth inch 3 16 cone. So we're gonna sit here and tack this. At least I wanna have a neutral a zero this way and about 30 degree angle this way. All right, come over here. Melt the edge of the plate. And make sure it's melody real good. Keep it eighth inch away your tip. All right, we'll add that filler metal in now. We're just gonna bridge it across. Come on. 
there it is. Come on this side, melt this plate. Slow, so wait, just wait for it. We're gonna sit here and just go about quarter inch, three eighths. All right. I want to make sure there's always a keyhole there. Right. Before I let off, I want to make sure there's a good keyhole. Because I always want to run into a good keyhole. <clears throat> I'm going to start about an eighth inch back from this keyhole. I'm going to warm up the plate. See how there's a keyhole? We want to try to keep this keyhole. About an eighth inch away or a stick out. The cone. This is nice and slow. You gotta read just a little bit here. That's it. If my angle is with my torch wrong, it starts hugging the other side of the plate. So. Keep eighth inch away. See that keyhole? You want to keep that. You know you're breaking the walls down good. All right. All right. It's nice and slow. Take your time. See how that keyhole's hugging the plate towards me? That means I got to center my uh, torch up. To the center of the joint so that keyhole needs to be in the center i'm going to try to always keep 30 35 degrees or 35 to 40 excuse me all right yeah just barely add your filler wire i'm using r60 filler wire i use 45 but this is what we had laying around the shop I always try to keep a keyhole. When there's a keyhole, you know you're breaking down your uh, walls good. All right. Just dip it in the leading edge of the puddle. I keep my filler rod about this angle. All right. I'm coming up to the end, you see, right there. So I'm going to kind of heat up this whole area. I want to make sure it's all melted. Do a little circle. See how it's all melting? Then I want to add filler wire in there. Keep adding filler wire and keep adding it and build it up. All right, then we're gonna move forward a little bit and we're just pull, pull away. There's our root, so I'm gonna flip this over. A pair of pliers, it's hot, remember. Flip it over and we're gonna inspect our root. You either take a wire brush and clean it or get, get all the mill scale flakes off. So overall, it looks all right. I got a couple of spots that wasn't penetrated all the way through. The reason I got that is uh, my gap closed up, I noticed. And I need to maintain at least an eighth inch where that filler rod, this filler rod right here, our spacer will drop through there. So next time, I'll uh, make sure I maintain that eighth inch or turn my heat up, I can do that also. So we're gonna flip this back over. Always use pliers, don't use your gloves. You're gonna mess your gloves up. I'm gonna straighten this back out. So I'm gonna wire brush and clean this up, then we're gonna run a, either a single pass or two bead cap. So I'll probably right here, I'll probably use a 330 seconds rod and do a little manipulation and uh, fill that up right there because it's a little bit below the base metal. So I'm gonna grab three three second rod. And one, this you could do either one pass or two pass. So I'm gonna do a single pass, a little weave, a little manipulation back and forth, like little baby circles. So I'm gonna get on the edge of the plate. I'm gonna make sure our puddle is hitting both of the uh, sides of the base metal here. And just do a little circle pattern. Adding, just dipping it in, pulling it back out, and moving forward a little bit. We want to bring that second bead where it's above the base metal here. Just nice and slow. So you want to go like this. Your bead should be a little bit wider than the previous weld. It's slow. I, I Well, I like to move slow. But this is how I got taught. So I'm going to do it just like this. Here you could do a single bead pass like this, or you could do a double bead, two little small ones. 
you want to make sure you're tying in them on the sides really good. All right. And increase my angle a little bit. Always cool your plate down in between passes. That helps it from getting overheated. Yeah, to create that puddle back again. All right. Never melt your filler wire. Always get your base metal first. Melted first. All right. I'm just dabbing in the leading edge of the puddle. If you guys don't have a torch, if you guys don't have a welding rig at home or stick machine, MIG or anything, this is pretty strong and get away with this. Do exhaust. You could do a whole bunch of different things with this. This plate's getting a little warm at the end, so I'm gonna pull back, let it cool down, come back in. Create that puddle again. My edge is a little low there, so I'm going to add a little bit. That's it. All right, make sure your torch is always off, your gas is off. You don't want to waste your gas. I'm going to take them off, put my glasses on. You always want to have your safety glasses on because the stuff is hot, it'll come back and get right on your eye. So we're just going to clean this up. It's actually pretty good. It's not bad. Get this all cleaned up pretty good here. So that's it guys. So I need a little practice. I haven't done it since 09, but I mean, getting the concept and doing it, you're fine. Just repetition over and over, then you'll be really good. Back to Jason, guys. Well guys, if you're still with us, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, make every well better than your last. Uh, what? <laughs> Okay, now when you do it, you gotta keep a straight face when it whacks you. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. Go. <laughs>